All right, ladies, gentlemen, and ladies. Today we're making an oak tree hopper. And if you ask me, this is the best bug I've made so far. This one right here. This is the goat. And I think it is because it's just it's just a cool bug. I, there are many things I like about it. I like that it's brightly colored. I like that every perspective that you look at the bug, it changes shape. If you look at it from the top, it's triangular. If you look at it from the side, it kind of has like a slope thing going on. And if you look at it from the front, it's shaped like a house, which you'll see what I mean when we get to the face, but I promise you it's shaped like a house. And of course it has the, the protruding thing. I can't remember what they're called, but it has the protruding thing on its head. I think that's really interesting. So uh, one thing about the oak tree hopper too, if you look it up, there is a vast array of them. They are so many different types of versions and variations that they can come in. And for once, I'm going to put in pictures. That's how excited I am about this bug. See? Wah! And then here. Hoo! And then ha! Hoo! Look, that's so interesting. Look at this one. Hoo! Look at this one. Ha! They're, they're so weird looking and they're so different from each other. And I just think that's really cool. And as you can see now, I'm trying my hardest to make the funny looking shape. It took a few tries, but I got there eventually. Now that it finally, now that I finally have finished making the tinfoil mold, we're going to take white clay this time because this is, this is, I went with the colorful version of the oak tree hopper, the nice blue teal with the red orange sunset stripes. They're just, this bug is so vogue. I just love this bug. I think it's very interesting. If this bug was, I think it's attractive and but I also think it's funny looking. It has character because it's pretty, but it's funny looking. It's kind of like, it's like, it's like Jennifer Garner. You know, it's the Jennifer Garner of bugs. Nothing against Jennifer Garner, of course. But you guys know what I mean. I know that you know what I mean. And if this bug was in high school, I feel like it wouldn't be the Regina George type of pretty and popular. It would be like head of the debate team, pretty and popular. You get what I'm saying? I feel like it's just, it's a popular that you can talk to. And it's true because I found out that the personality of the oak tree hopper is that it's very gregarious. They're very amicable bugs with each other. They're very friendly with each other. And it's probably because they're pests. <laughs> Sadly, a lot of, a lot of the prettiest bugs are pests, which can apply for some humans too, but that's either here nor there. You see what I'm saying though, right? You see what I'm saying about the sloped, like, if you look at it from the top view, it's, it's like triangular shape. But if you look at it from the side, it's sloped. That's what I was trying to get with and foil. I know we're onto the clay portion of the video. Just really wants you guys to take notice of how funny looking this bug is from the different angles. And see, this is what I mean by the house. This is, this is what the shape looked like. Like the face this is what it looks like. And it was very hard to find pictures of the face because so many people want to take pictures of, of, you know, the long protruding. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. Pronotum. The, the protruding thing at the top of its head is called the pronotum. So you see, we learn something new every day, guys. That's the vocab word of the day. And by the way, this bug is not to be confused with the thorn bug. If you look it up, I can see how they would be similar, but I can also see why they'd be vastly different. To me, the difference is readily apparent. This bug's the pronotum, prini, whatever, is on the front and the thorn beetle, it's sharper and it's on the back. But yes, so now we're just making the eyes, doing the same method that I did for the jewel beetle, just rolling up a piece of paper and just mapping it out and then carving it nice and pretty. Cause there's no way I'd be able to carve that circle perfectly, just all my ones. So have to use a little bit of help. Have to use a piece of paper. Okay. I know I said that the oak tree hopper is not to be confused with the thorn bug. And I do agree. I'm still sticking on that stance because it's a fact they shouldn't they shouldn't be conflated anyways but when i looked up 
what the funny looking thing was called. The pronotum. Called. But I looked at, oh, and hey, look at that. That's what I'm making right now. Jinx. <laughs> look at that. Anyways. Did I, when I looked up what the name for that was, I found out that this, the oak tree hopper, is a distant relative of a grasshopper. Which makes sense, but gosh golly, gosh darn. You know, isn't that, isn't that just sweet? Isn't that just sweet? They're like super distant. They're probably like third cousins twice removed or whatever the fuck, but I don't know, I think that's sweet. You know, the perineum I made was a little bit way too big, but it's okay. I think it'll add character. And the entire concept of having something like that on your head is just kind of cool to me. We got to the part where I fucked up a little, right? I fucked up because I didn't put the holes in before I put it in the clay. Do you see how much force I am using to stab this thing? Look, I nearly gave myself carpal tunnel, okay? It was hard. So if you're going to be like me, don't make the mistake of, of not pressing the clay beforehand, you know? Don't make the mistake of not putting in the dots in the clay before you put it in the oven. That's what I'm trying to say. Because you'll give yourself carpal tunnel. That shit hurt my hand. It hurt my finger and my thumb and the little fleshy part in between the finger and the thumb. I don't know what that's called, but it fucking hurt. <laughs> and so now I'm just mapping out the wings with just a, just a colored pencil, just a light colored pencil, which was kind of hard. I'll be honest. <laughs> it was kind of hard because I was trying to get it as perfect on both sides as possible so that if you look at it from the top view, it looked as symmetrical as possible so one side looks beautiful and the other side looks okay it, it looks okay i got there eventually you know that's all that matters and here i go back to just stabbing it and god it, it just really hurt anyways so talking about the wings let me talk about that real quick i had a lot of different ideas for how to do the wings i was thinking maybe i could do kind of like how I did for the jewel beetle where I make a second layer of clay. I was thinking maybe I'll go out and get like some pretty cellophane or something. Ended up just carving them in, which also is about to give me carpal tunnel, but I don't regret carving it in this way. I can see the appeal for carving it in beforehand, before you do the clay, because then you can, you could just, you wouldn't give yourself carpal tunnel but i would recommend doing it after only because then you can draw and make sure it gets really right you can erase without fucking up the form that's just that's just how i would recommend doing it just... now we're making the legs and i'm doing the same method hot glue on the wire and i I didn't do the spiky bits like I did last time. I just went with little nubbins because, you know, I don't know. I, they don't really have spiky bits and I don't think the spiky bits really fit this bug anyway. So I just didn't. And they, the legs are kind of fuzzy. So, but I couldn't think of anything to do for the fuzziness. So now I know I can do flocking. So for the next bug that has fuzzy legs, we're gonna do flocking. So we have that to look forward to. And right now I am mixing up the paints because I saw the two types of paint and I think the, the bug, it kind of has like a gradient. So I have two, uh, have two tubes of paint. They're very similar in color, but they make a nice gradient. I went on a little detour when I was talking about the legs, but let me wrap around back to the wings conversation while I'm here painting and gradienting and all that good stuff. Yes, I went with the carving method only because I, I, I didn't want to take away from the triangular shape, you know? 
Like when I was first researching the bug, it took me a lot of time to even find out if they can fly because the wings don't even look like they work, you know? <laughs> and spoiler alert, they can fly, but they don't really, they don't really, I think they prefer the jump. Don't quote me on that. I can't remember precisely, but you know. Um, so I just, I didn't think that the wings were a prominent enough feature form wise for me to make them extra. I thought it would be fine to just do it like this in design wise. So I was looking at more bug facts because this video is a little longer than usual. I wanted to try something new with my editor and now I deeply regret it because it's a bit too long. <laughs> But whatever. So I was looking at new bug facts to tell you guys, and I, I, I'm at a loss because now I'm not sure if the thorn bug and the oak tree hopper are secretly the same thing. Because if you look on the Britannica website, they show a picture of the thorn bug when you look up the oak tree hopper. So I don't know. Someone, someone needs to come together. An entomology committee, maybe the Smithsonian. Smithsonian, please. Please sponsor me. Oh God. Anyways, someone needs to come together and figure that out because I keep getting conflicted sources and I just need to know. I won't be able to sleep at night until I know whether or not the thorn bug and the oak tree hopper are the same thing or just cosplaying each other, you know? But back to the sweet painting. Um, now we get to the pretty little details. Ugh. That's just one of the reasons I just love this bug. I know this is like the 20 million time I've said it, but the color palette is just, oh man, so pretty. So, so pretty. And it's funny because some of the oak tree hoppers are really fucking freaky looking. I'm not even gonna hold you. They are weird looking. But this one, this one's, ah. Uh, Perfect, just, you know, I love her or him. Cause this, as I said, this is the heat version, but enough talk. Let's, let's focus on the sweet, sweet paint job. Me again. So I just wanted to make it clear that the red paint that I use, I don't think it's opaque enough. Cause you see there it's it's good but then when i put it on top of the blue it wasn't so here i am i'm just going to prime it with some white and hopefully that'll make it pop a little more and i don't know why i said hopefully as if i don't know the outcome of this video but you guys know what i'm trying to say and for this part i'm trying to give it a gradient but you can see the difference right yeah you can see the difference but for the gradient you just have to just be patient with it. There's no real method. You just make them meet and then make them merge a little bit. I don't know. Then figure it out from there. And here I am making the eyeballs, which I just I just love this bug. Like it look at it. It's that's such a beautiful pop of color to have the eyes be red. Like I didn't even have to freestyle this bug or anything. This is just on God how it looks. Oh. But back to Back to analyzing this beautiful paint job that I did. I'm gonna pat myself on the back a little bit because it was fucking tricky. This face part, mad tricky. Cause ugh, it's just lots of points and gradients. You just have to you have to be really steady with it. So let's appreciate this. Okay, enough uh, jerking myself off right now. Um, right now I'm working on the legs, working on the little leggies. And I didn't really 
I did, I, I did wing it with when it came to the little pads of the feet. I saw, I just saw it would work. And I saw like one reference picture. So, you know, had to improv a little bit. But the wings, the black of the wings was a fucking trip. Because I was always of the persuasion that, oh, I'll just outline it. That didn't work. You know? And then I tried the micron. That worked a little bit. But then, like, it immediately started to conk out on me. Like, I made those two perfect lines and now it conked out. So I tried to go back to the original one I was using. And that wasn't happening at all. So I ended up just painting it. So the lines weren't as thin as I would have liked, as I would have hoped and wanted and prayed for, for my little baby. But it still came out okay. You know, the, the lines aren't that bad. So now we're just popping the legs back in and then we're gonna get ready to glaze. And you guys know what happens. Oh, I know, I know. The, the video is over already. That, that's, that's crazy. Even though you made it longer than usual and it dragged a bit, but the bug is fucking sexy, so we're not gonna hold you to it. Oh. I, I really appreciate that. Thanks, thanks. That that being said, <laughs> that being said, enough of that. Thanks for watching. I really hope you think this bug is as beautiful and lovely as I think it is. I think you guys are beautiful and lovely for watching my videos. And yay! See you guys for the next one. Bye!